so the user preferences in the service now are settings that users can customize to suit their individual needs and preferences these preferences can include the things like users time zone then languages then the notification setting in this video i will walk you through the different types of user preferences in service now and show you how to customize them hello and welcome to this video on uh, user preferences in the service now so in the service now basically the service now is a powerful platform that allows the users to customize their experience to suit their individual needs and preferences so let's take a look at the different types of the user preferences in the service now so if you click here on this user profile button then you can see here the user preferences just click on this preferences button then you can see there are the different types of the user preferences are available as the display theme accessibility notifications and the debugging if you go to the display then you can see here different different options related to the time zone date which format you want you can customize according to your need it will only reflect to your profile and not for the others so you can select your time zone from here as well you can select here when you want to load the related list with the form or on the demand or after the form loads so basically to speed up the process of loading the form then you can see here the different different options are available in the display if you go to the theme then there are the two options one is the default and the other one is a dark theme you can uh, choose between them in the accessibility you can see here different different options are available to customize according to your need you can use these options as well then in the notification part you can enable or the disable push notification or the system notifications or the emails according to your needs as well in the next experience uh, they are allowing the other options as well as the show banner this upper banner and the show batch count as well as where you want exactly that count uh, means that banner location then also you can choose from here if you uh, go to the debugging basically this debugging is used for the testing or the uh, uh, testing of this script or basically testers use this debugging feature it uses the auto automated test framework page inspector as well script debugger as well so we can basically see the flow of the script how it is going into that so these are some basic uh, user preferences available here if you want to customize the uh, be beyond this then what you can do is you can type here in the application navigator as a user preferences then click this first under user administration uh, let's take an example that I wanted to change the uh, method or I wanted to change the shortcut method which is already created in the service now for the impersonation of the user so I'm going to search here for impersonate you can see this user preference is already created and it is the global for all the users whenever this system checkbox is checked then it is for all the users it is for the global whenever we uncheck it and when we select here any particular user then that uh, user preference is for that particular user only and not for the global so suppose I wanted to change the uh, shortcut uh, the shortcut already present here is a control plus alt plus I if I click on the control plus alt plus I then it will open up the pop-up for the impersonation of the user suppose I wanted to change it I don't want this alt I want only control and I if I click on the control plus I then it will it needs to open it must open that uh, impersonate user pop-up and I will give it name Personate user and then click on insert and stay don't save it because we are editing the out of the box uh, user preference so don't save it oh before that just select the user I am selecting my record only and then insert and stay 
now let's test it control and i yeah that opens this impersonate user dialog box so this is about the user preferences hope you will find it useful thanks for watching my video